For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you must have noticed that I work sometimes on Steinberg New Endo and sometimes on Avid Pro Tools. People ask me all the time why I just don't pick one and roll with it. This is Eitan, I'm a sound designer for motion pictures and video games, and in this video I'll talk about the pros and cons of Pro Tools and New Endo that for me are the most important from the perspective of a sound designer. So first of all, why Pro Tools? Fucking Pro Tools. Avid Pro Tools. We've got Pro Tools system. Pro Tools is the industry standard. Right, it's the industry standard, but it's much more. For me, every project with multiple mics, where the majority of the work involves editing dialogue, will be edited on Pro Tools. Why? I'll tell you in a second, just don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. A few features that Pro Tools Ultimate has makes it a go-to in terms of dialogue editing, and it's all about the automations. Let's say that I want to copy all the enabled automation from all the plugins that are on a specific channel. For this example, we'll copy the EQ and denoise automation from this clip to that clip. You can option click on Capture in the Automation panel while your initial clip is selected. Now, all the automation that are enabled on all the channels that are on Latch or Touch mode are captured and you can punch them anywhere you want. You just have to select another area, click Punch, and then click the right automation to selection. I use this all the time when editing multiple mics. I can also copy automation values of a specific plugin from one place in the session to another. Let's say I want to copy the current state of this EQ. I first have to make sure I'm in preview mode and that the target button of the plugin that I want to copy is enabled. That's the red button right here. Now I simply press Shift Command C and then I select the new area, press Shift Command V, and click on Write to Selection. The next thing is that when I select a clip and select its area of the auxiliary channel that it's routed to, I can drag the clip to another place on the timeline and it keeps all the automation values. This is extremely handy and it makes things like mixing the shorter version of a TV commercial, for example, very easy. The last thing I'll talk about regarding Pro Tools is the Glide Automation feature. This feature is so important. Basically, it allows you to smooth harsh transitions, clicks and sudden changes that are created while writing automations to entire selections, which create 90 degree steps in automation curves. You can drag a selection, play your session, wait for the cursor to pass the point that you want to smooth, and then press Option, Shift, Forward, Slash. You will see the automation glide smoothly, which is amazing. You can also glide a single automation by selecting an area and pressing the X key. All those features for editing automations makes Pro Tools a really, really good platform for editing dialogue. So every time I need to edit a documentary, interview, reality show, or a commercial with multiple mics, it's free. There's nothing to sell, so I can't be a seller, can I? I just go with Pro Tools. Now let's talk about Nuendo. Nuendo is heaven. A DAW with infinite freedom, simplicity and workflow that makes Pro Tools look ridiculously rigid and unfriendly. The first thing and most obvious one is that you can change the key commands and create macro controls without using any third-party app. All you have to do is to go to the key commands window and you can assign and change key commands to almost any action that exists in Uendo. You can also group a few actions together and create complex macros that will make your workflow much faster. You can also route MIDI controls to activate functions like selecting a track, moving events up or down, and basically anything else. It's also very easy to route your MIDI controller to any plugin control. In addition, Steinberg makes sure that when you buy Nuendo, you get everything you need in order to start working. So you have all those options in the box. Vary audio to change vocal pitch, audio alignment for ADR, EDL video reconform for dealing with multiple versions of a video, and you also receive some really cool creative plugins like Randomizer and Voice Designer, which we talked about in previous videos. When I design sounds for a mobile game or app, I like to use pitch shifting and time stretching and that is very easy to do in Uendo. Another very handy feature and a huge time saver is the option to bounce multiple individual files. This feature is so handy. Imagine that you have to provide 200 pieces of short sound effects for the video game startup you work for. How much time would it take with Pro Tools? Well, with Nuendo, it's just a few clicks. Of course, both programs have much more to offer, but honestly, for 90% of the time, it's exactly the same. I mean, let's face it, those companies copy each other all the time. Look at the follow track that Avid just implemented in Pro Tools. This feature has been around for a few years in Uendo. 
On the other hand, Steinberg decided last year to copy the smart tool from Pro Tools. Great decision, by the way. There are other features, both those that we didn't discuss about like offline processing in Uendo and the fact that you can recall the last selection in Pro Tools and I wish those two companies would copy each other more often so we, as consumers, could enjoy all the features that makes our life easier as sound designers and editors. But for now, let's just conclude that if you're opening a hardcore audio post-production studio in LA, you'll probably still need to use Pro Tools in order to communicate with other studios and to easily find the right talents to work in your facilities. Um, Pro Tools facility, which everybody in town is. So, If you're a freelancer that works on TV series, documentaries and other formats where a big part of the job is working on dialogue, maybe Pro Tools is the best choice. But if you plan on working on indie features and short films, game audio, folly recordings, animation videos and short commercials, Nuendo might give you the best workflow possible. So that's it, the purpose of this video is to make you think wider in terms of tools that you can use as a sound designer. The most important thing when choosing a DAW is to make your life easier. You need to be able to make things done as fast and easy as possible so that you can focus on the artistic part of the job over the technical. By the way, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Take care!